Former Auburn running back and current NFL running back Trey Mason was pulled over last week in Hollywood, Florida for reckless driving, which led to an arrest for three different charges. Police say that Mason resisted arrest and had to be tased twice before taken to the hospital. Mason was released on bail. With this is yet another pro athlete in the media breaking the law, it has many people wondering, do athletes tend to get away and face less punishment than the average person? I think sometimes athletes are treated like other stars and celebrities. Larry Cooper, an attorney for Cooper & Cooper Attorneys at Law, went on to describe how a lot of athletes' troubles could be traced back to personality issues as well as drug or alcohol problems. I think they have a lot of programs that are helpful for athletes to get involved in, such as counseling, and I think they do come down pretty hard also within the criminal justice system. They also get punished by the NFL, whether it's fines or suspensions and mandatory counseling in addition to what they have to go through in the criminal court system. On the other hand, Auburn Police Chief Paul Register believes the opposite. We often don't even know who some of the student athletes are, so when we deal with situations, uh, we have found at times where we may actually arrest or issue a citation, and then we find out later that it's a student athlete, not because of anything other than maybe a media inquiry. We often get media inquiries when a student athlete is, uh, is arrested or gets in trouble, so we do have that. That's really the only difference uh, as far as normal uh, regular students. So we really don't differentiate between students and student athletes and often don't know who they are. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, some of the student athletes uh, in a recent article that was done by um, Outside the Lines, Paul Levine, some of the athletes actually felt like we were more firm with them. For Eagle Eye News, Casey Cooper.